So the worst team in FC24 is UCD AFC. And you know we're rebuilding them. Oh my, what a challenge. They're an Irish team. So today we're rebuilding them using only Republic of Ireland and Northern Irish players. Hope you guys don't mind both countries coming together as we're in League 2. We've got Grimsby Town first. And do you guys want to get some kits like this one? An insane replica. For great prices, visit Soccer Deal Shop. The link is in the description below. And if you use MWS10 in the checkout, you get yourselves 10 percent off. This is gonna be some challenge as the objectives are winning the UCL title somehow with these, putting every player that isn't Irish on the transfer list, and only being able to sign Republic of Ireland or Northern Irish ballers. As the team we start off with, even for League 2. This is this is shocking. And believe it or not, I've messed around with the team and that is the best we can do. Our best player is a 60 rated centre back. Of course, the academy is going to be great for us if we could afford one in the bloody first place. And for once, to be fair, I should have known this already. Every single player is already Irish and they're very young. I believe it's a university team. I might be wrong here, but there is a lot of youngsters would kind of make sense if it was, as we'll have to simulate on. Hopefully get a good pre-season to earn some money, and we'll sell players, but as you can see, the bids aren't going to be much. And you might also see right here, we do have a scout report, but as you can see, every player... Oh, no, Evan Leary. That's the only Irishman we got. And I'm actually rather shocked, because there is players we can sign. We've been smart with it a little bit here. We've looked at the free signings, and here's one we've managed to find. His name is Kane, number 15. Does, does the shirts not even have the names on the back? Oh, wow. Oh, dear. This is a little bit tin pot. He won't be the only player, though. I'll show you both of these after. There's another free agent. Agent? Agent is Gibson, and these two are both Northern Irish, so... Please don't hate on me. Kane, we're probably going to train as a centre-back. It says he can play there in Gibson. He's basically back up for Brennan, who's in the team. And I am praying after pre-season that we do have... Right. Okay, we do have a little bit of money. That is quite good. As also, Ethan Kane's now a centre-half, and he's a highest rate of player already. And before we start off with Grimsby, he's not an Irish scout, but Tommy Latham. We do have one. He's going to be going to the Republic of Ireland. We can afford him. When we can afford two, you know no one's going northern. We'll see him at the start of next season as... Michael, Michael Johnson. Can you make history here by coming to a League 2 club? I don't think I mentioned we're in the EFL, but we are anyway, as this man coming to us, he would be huge. If we could afford him, of course. I mean, we can only offer him 2.7 and, and no, Johnson's gonna walk away. To be fair, kinda glad, because we've got a lot of contracts I didn't notice that need signing up for next year. In fact, it's the whole team. Apart from three. Oh dear. I mean, when Grimsby, my team, is by far the favourites on FC24, you know something's not right with your team. As come on, let's give it a go against the Mariners. And we only lost 2 1. Deep down, of course, I'm glad my team won. But obviously, we're managing Dublin here, and it's going to be a long season. And are you shocked? I definitely am. We're in round three of the FA Cup. We've got other rounds to go through. We're 16th in League 2. That is absolutely outstanding. Bearing in mind, after contracts, we sit with 34k to our name. And look at the state of this team. It looks it looks like it's come on for a League 2 side. We've got main player Kane, who was the free agent. Keeney, the centre-back. We've got a couple of 60 rated, which... In our case, is a lot. Great stuff. Great stuff as we are getting bids in for players, including quite a bit for Daniel Bath. But just because we're doing well, I'm going to keep them here. Like I said, it's a young Irish squad. And I'm going to trust the young Irishman to survive season one. And in season number one, we do survive. Newport and Crawley go down. Bath's probably glad we didn't sell him. We were 13 points clear. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. More unbelievable, in my opinion is the Manning Derby in the FA Cup final, won by Bristol City. That's incredible, that is. Aston Villa win the Carabao. We're not winning any of the EZFL trophy. Did we give it a go? No, we didn't. No, we definitely didn't. Next season, we'll get more players as we've 
We've not got much growth in the second half. I mean, it was worse than the first. But I'll take it. We've got Kane. We've got Keeney. We've got more. And we've even got more than that. We've got five players over the rating of 60 now. Top scorer-wise in the league, Kinsella Bishop with 17. How has our centre-back Kearney scored 15 goals? That is amazing. And I mean, season number two, I'm praying that we get a League 2 actual budget for once. And let's have a check, shall we? Yes! Yes! That is a good budget for this division as well, by the way. Three million to build our Irish squad with. I think you know who our first signing will be. As of course, we've got Tommy here in the academy going to the Republic of Ireland. And now we've got Archie Potts going Northern. And have they found anything? We've got them back straight away. We've got Evan O'Leary. And that's about it. Chris Boyd. Ooh, for a 53 rate, that's 17, eh? Great. O'Leary will be promoted, as I think you know who we want to sign. His demands will, of course, gone up, as he only wants a one-year contract length. But Michael Johnson, what a signing he would be for us. And there we go in League 2. What a player to get. For, for UCD standard, it's amazing. For League 2 standing, it's outstanding. What a player. For nothing as well. For absolutely free. That is someone we can rely on and he should be easily our top scorer. And he will of course be joined, Johnson. We're going to look into the free agents of this season, not just last. As the first one is going to be Dara Lehi. What a signing. The next one is a younger Johnson. On the other wing, Dara Burns. Experience the MK Dons. We have Thomas McGee. Another regen. You'll get to see the rating shortly. But a huge player, like Johnson, this time from the championship. Welcome to the club, George Savile. We've gone high on the Northern Irishman here. One of, one of the old best players in the squad. It's took us budget down to one million, but still, that's one million on player wages. Let's look how our team's transformed after them signings. We should be higher up in League 2, especially with the midfield. But the attacking-wise and right back, they could still definitely be improved. And here we've replaced one of those positions. Don't get why the assistants in the free agent kit. Probably because we're relying on them. Adam Thompson is another free agent coming across. We're one player off. One player off. We get another striker. And then we could potentially go 4-4-2, actually. Gibson needs a bit more time to grow, as finally, our first paid-for player. Leads us with hardly anything to spend, but welcome to the club. Here we go, Josh McGuinness, 33 on the back, 33 years of age, that cost us 300 grand and should be grand in this division. It allows us to go to a flat 4-4-2. Kinsella Bishop and Josh up front, as we're going to see how truly good it is against Markham to start off with. Come on, our team's good enough. We need to get to League One, but it's still a draw. And that's not good, you know, because Johnston will leave us soon. He's only got a year on his contract, and that will hurt if we don't get promoted. And season number two is going a lot better. It's going a lot, lot better. We are fourth in this league. I mean, I don't like to use the word again, but Tim Pot. We've got Barrow top of the league. No offense, Barrow fans. But then we've got Cheltenham Town. We've got Salford. And then us right up in Thord. Grimsby, you've, you've got to be better than that. You're, you're 16th. Team-wise so far, wow. I mean, we've got two over 70 rated. It looks like Kane might join in soon. He's brilliant. I mean, 18 years of age still. He might be with us all save. Dara Burns has had a good start. Keeney, the captain's still in. We've got a few still in. We've got him, Moore, and Kinsella Bishop. Our defense still isn't the best, but looking at ratings without a shadow of a doubt, it is getting a lot better for us. Dara Burns has outscored Johnson, even Savile has, and Kinsella Bishop. It's absolutely mind-blowing. But what's more mind-blowing is we've signed Michael Johnson up for another year. He's got a release clause this time, you can see, of 5 million. But I don't mind it. The only player we'll lose is Josh McGuinness. And to be fair, he's getting a lot older. And come end of the season, it is the playoffs for Dublin. We've got to look at the squad. We've got to look at the ratings. And we've got to admire. We've got McGee in the midfield doing well. But Gibson, he's gone up a lot of ratings. But it looks like he might not get played there. It looks like maybe it's giving the game time to be on. Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, Dada Burns is our best player, though. 20 goals. And hopefully he can add to that in this playoff campaign. So come on, let's show Salford who's boss here. We need to get a victory. Nil-nil 
on the road. What's the home game got in store for us, though? What has this home game got? We're back in Ireland. We're without a striker for the next game, but we win. He scores our goal. And Salford are beaten. Seems like Bradford in the final is going to be a challenge. Don't know why Lehigh isn't playing for Josh McGuinness up front. Back with a bang is the experienced player. And we've done it. I don't know if he scored in the game. He hasn't. But is that a Burns hat trick? I think it is. Behan with the other. But it's a first trophy for Dublin. Get in there, you Irishmen. I mean, we'll have a bigger budget hopefully next season. We've done it with still some OGs in the team. So despite what our budget is, which is 5 million, okay. I was going to say despite the budget, I'm very excited to see the academy, but I think I'll be more excited to actually spend that money. As we've only got poor scouts still though, and it's proving to be poor David Hanlon. Come on, better than that. And we're going to be signing some good players this season. Hopefully not all free agents, but... We've got to look at some. A lot of Irish players getting released as Peter Kioso is the first one. From Rotherham, I think. To be fair, probably not. But that's a good player to get in the team. One of the highest rated already. And here's our first signing with cash, of course. Sweet, sweet. Sterling to hand. We've got Jack Bonham. An experienced keeper from Stoke. Going to the league above as for some reason. I'm getting dragged towards it. I'm getting dragged back to the flat pack. Flat back for... 4-4-2. And that would require, of course, a new left-back, definitely, and another striker. And we'll start with the left-back, shall we? From the league above, from Huddersfield Town. Welcome to the club, Brody Spencer. He's gonna be a good one. An only 21-year-old, 65 rated. He could come on the journey with us. As here's the big signing, the other striker, and what a coup for League One. Welcome for a record-breaking amount. 2.1 million on our new number 34, Adam Eder. One number less than McGuinness who has left the club 71 rated. Can you actually fathom it? Him and Kinsella Bishop. Would anyone put them together up front? I mean, they can swap because they're both left and right footed. That team now, it stands a chance in this division. Really good shot here as well because we've got Cheltenham Town to start off with now. They were in the league with us last season. Got a relatively similar squad. Not signing many as, of course, I mean, either isn't even as highest rated player. We've got experience like Johnston as Savile, the most experienced of all in his final season. Gets a leveler in the first game. And ladies and gentlemen, we are third in League One. This team is flying. The second least defeats in the division and joint with Pompey. Really, really good. But what I'd love more is if we did some damage in the whoa, what Bristol Street Motors Trophy. I always forget what it's called. We were in there against Mansfield. Let's look at the team. Wow. Moore is very close to actually taking Bonham back out the team. I mean, it's all right. The defense isn't growing much, though. Spencer needs to go back to a left back. He is training to do that. We've got Bab on the bench. Lehigh must be getting played. O'Leary's not counted out as well. However, who's showing their quality? In terms of stats, it's Kinsella Bishop outscoring Ida, who's gone up three. Only with 10 goals. Big drop off for Dara Burns, which I'm not too concerned with because I look at the league position and I think we're doing all right anyway. Not much we can really do as well. I mean, the academy's already been done. We've got player bids coming in. That's the shortlist. You don't want to see that just yet. And for the second season running, we failed to actually get automatics, but it will be playoffs for UCD AFC. And the team looks, it looks very good. I don't know who Bonham is. I don't know who Moore is, but they look like they should be each other. Our Irish keeper from the start doing well. Same with Captain Keeney, who's still here. Spencer, such a better left back than wing back. We've got a suspended Ethan Kane, however, for this first leg in the games we have. Burns, actually not 70 rated, and that's quite criminal to be honest with you that man deserves a lot better as the team we face oh it's a good team no cashing in the defense who i was looking at potentially signing and that still could be done of course as the first leg kinsella bishop and lehigh come on second leg with kane back as well it should be even better shouldn't it no 
but we're through to the final. And it's Charlton Athletic. Ooh, this should be actually interesting. They've took Sunderland down before. They can take the big teams out. And I'm not calling us a big team just yet. Of course, we know we can get there as we have to beat Charlton. Of course, and we do. Burns with a goal. He loves them in finals, and that is two back-to-back -back playoff wins. And the league where most Irish players are. The championship up next. We've got 275 rated now. They're good enough for Prem level. Johnson and Ida, even though both were second and fourth, respectively, in goal scoring order. Because George Savile in his final year got 12 and 20 for Danu Kinsella Bishop. As championship fever, 7 million. Could we collect another playoff trophy? Collecting them like Infinity Stones. As David Hanlon through the academy, it's a little bit better, but still not great. We'll promote players, but first team wise, a lot getting called up for the country now, as we probably need. I'm sorry, Keeney, but a good centre-back and a centre-mid. Priority number one. Will it be a free agent or will it actually have to be money at the wallet? I think it's also time. This season, we sold players. You can see bids coming in and good bids at that. St. Louis have offered almost £2 million for our centre-half. Goodbye to the captain, Jack Keeney. And Dara Lehigh will leave as well. They are some terrific bits. As I'm not going to be messing around with the Deeney replacement as well. Or I've even forgot his name. Was it Deeney or Keeney? I don't cano, but I cano. We're getting cash in him with our cash. He's come from Falimikau. We mentioned him. We've bought him. And Keeney is still here. We don't have to learn how to say his name, though. He will be going, and cashing is such a good replacement. But now you're just going a bit too far. Ethan Kane, a bidding for him. But now Keeney's gone. We can't get rid of Ethan. And instead of selling him, of course, we're going to get someone for in front of him. The midfielder has arrived. A player I believe is highly rated by Wolverhampton, a new number seven. Not a number in the 30s. It's Joe Hodge. Great player to bring in. Now they're all back from Irish duty. It looks very, very nice. Will he get promoted season one? Probably not. As I might look for another keeper. And I'm definitely going to look for a backup striker. Sorry, Doyle, but I don't trust you one bit in the second division of England. And I've gone in looking for backups. But I've honestly found players that I think will be straight into the first team if they need to be. The backup striker is Callum Robinson, a, a big championship veteran. And the keeper will have to wait a couple more hours on as we've got Southampton in the meantime. Like I've said, could we do a triple header of playoffs or even just win the championship? I mean, that would be easier as we've given Southampton a go, but ultimately... We're probably weaker than them. And to wrap up the greatest window we've had so far, only four players, and this one is phenomenal. Watch what I'm showing you. For them to let him go completely and be our number one in the championship, standing at six foot six and 72 rated. The 18 year old is the future of Ireland, and he's gonna be the future of Dublin especially. And there he is in the team to complete what we're going with into season number one. Championship lessons to be learned, but Johnson, Ida, and Kinsella Bishop, we trust to get us enough goals. And season number four, is it four? I don't know, but we are 15th at the moment, 28 points, we're eight points away from from relegation but then again 11 points away from Norwich City safe to say we'll be mid-table team wise though it's all about improvements and we have had those Johnson still going up Ida and Gillespie 74 rated keeper oh my days Burns is 74 rated as well. What a team we have. Ratings are getting towards Premier League quality. Not there yet. Thomas McGee, shout out to this man. Phenomenal. Is it seven goals for Adam Ida, which gets him his plus one. Kins has got six goals. That is amazing for Bishop. And Burns, four and three. So he's getting involved. Probably why the rating has gone up. But how's it not gone up on Callum Robinson? Probably our MVP. Them stats were phenomenal. As financially, we've got nothing. We're, we're going to look to get players out on loan and sign the contract up for this man right here. Can't afford to lose him, please. Oh, it's going to be hit and miss with cashing because he's going to be very difficult about his contract. We've got to pounce when we can. And end of the season, we managed to get it done. Cashing will stay 
a year longer. He's only gone one plus in his rating. Not many increases. Well, there is a few plus ones. I mean, Gillespie, he's the player I'm most excited about. Looking at him in this lineup, I mean, looking at the lineup in entirety, I, I don't get how it's not improved that much. We've had improvements further in the past, and it's a 19th place finish. That's quite poor. To survive by nine points and have the team that we have, we've got to be up there next year. There's been a lot of good teams, though. You look at that top seven, actually. Leeds won the league on 109 points. As we'll look at these competitions now, we're further in them, but not further in progression. Don't know where we've gone out. Bit of an off-season. As Callum Robinson from the bench, the only player that's really decreased is our highest scorer. This year, give us a higher budget. That's more like it. Eight million. The, the situation with the youth, again, I could get better scouts or I could just go buy better Irish players, which I think I'm going to do. We've got to be honest, we need the best of the best at the moment to improve the team and we're only going to get that by having more money to hand. Kane is the captain, we've got McGee as in terms of regens anyway, and Gillespie, so yeah. We've got our fair share of you. Come on, we can make 8 million stretch a long way as we're losing BN to the contract. That's disappointing. All of these. We'll sign up the best ones, but in terms of like Jill and Dempsey, we might as well let them leave. And we've managed to sign Adam Ida up, which is a positive, but look at the bids we're getting in for him, man. Look at the bids. PSV, 29 million. Yeah. It might be the end for him. He only scored 10 goals. You have to cash in on that much money, as we can still add to it anyway. A player two ratings lower, costing only 5 million, is Connolly of Hull City, the Irishman, of course. He did it for Brighton, stepped down a bit. Now he's stepping up with us. And there we go. There's Adam on his way out, joined by a player in, or an assistant manager, shall I say, in a full kit, which looks ridiculous. And you know we'll be spending the money straight away. First player, his replacement from the Eredivisie as well, Nathan Fraser. As the rest of the money's going on the defence. Yes, I like some of our players as promised, but sometimes you need experience. And one player who has it in bucket loads is Aaron Lewis. Is it Aaron Lewis? Oh, is it Jamal Lewis? I think it's Jamal, isn't it? Yes, it is. Getting the names wrong, but welcome to UCD. Again, though, if you think that's it, think again. We've signed from Lyonnais, Jake O'Brien, a centre-half. And it, in fact, does knock Ethan Kane out the team. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's a youth player, but O'Brien, he looks phenomenal stats-wise. 26-year-old Spencer's going to go right back. We've got Lewis going back to his favoured left, and that team is good enough for the championship. And I think we could use a midfielder now. We've strengthened up that defence. Come on, let's go to another position with the addition of Shea Charles. Now, this man's a gem. Could I see this man winning a Champions League? Yes, I could. He's 75 rated at only 23. And we meet again, Mr. Ram. It's Derby County, of course. They're, they're actually I'm looking for cashing in their team. They're looking at us because he is our captain. This team can be in the Prem, but we start off with a draw against the newly promoted club. Don't tell me it's going to be another off-season. We can't really take any more of those. And with Everton in our division, Chef United, Southampton, there's, there's some good teams. We drew to Derby, but we are joint top of the league with Watford. Yes, we received a lot of money and we spent it, but still, that position is very surprising to me. Have we done well in the Cups as well? Nope. No, we haven't done well. We've, we've bloody bottled every single one. Maybe one day it'll be our time to shine, as this is how the team looks. Of course, it's not playing Spencer. I've been stupid. Kiosso comes back in as... Look at Kinsella Bishop. The man won't go out without a fight. He wants to be in that starting 11. And to be fair, just because he started here, he will go in. Just don't get how he's that good. We've not hit any 80 ratings yet, but with the squad, I mean, Gillespie might get to the 90s, I bloody tell you. Was it's 13 goals for the man we've just took out. Fraser, Kinsella's on 12, so it looks like Connolly will actually have to be the man drop. As money-wise, how much do we have? We've got 100k. He was very expensive with Shea Charles. And actually, I never checked. We're getting the most out of him because he's changed position. I mean, a year older and one rating plus. 
we expect a bit more in the second half of the year. And this team, if it hasn't won the league, I am very surprised. We haven't hit a 80 rated, but we got Dada Burns. Charles in the middle has come good. And of course, Gillespie. To be fair, I expected him to be 80 rated. What has this team done though? It's won the bloody title. Of course it has. 102 points. What's more surprising to me is Everton, bottom of the places right here. Have they got any Northern Irishmen? A Republic of Irishmen. Seamus Coleman. Uh, no, thank you. Probably retired by now anyway, but it's been a little bit of a fly by the championship. Poor season, really good season. That good that we, we just need to praise them and move on. There is nothing to say apart from top scorer was Kinsella Bishop with 21. Can't believe it. And then Dara Burrs with 13 and 13. And lucky for some, but not this man, Dara. I think the look of the Irish has took us to the Premier League as we've got an amazing squad. Fullbacks is where we have to check. Kiyoso I took a gamble with because he's a lot older than Spencer. And now none of them are really good enough to play there. So screwed up on that one. Potential always doesn't go in our favour. As 35 million for season number one in the Prem. That would probably afford the best Irish player. But who is it? And why was I even stuck on it? Of course it's this man, Evan Ferguson. We can't afford to sign him. We can't get Ballard because he's too important for the club. And that is his fullback right there. Try Hume, ex-Sunderland. Sorry, I've mixed them over a little bit this time. He is Northern Irish. When I say Irish or Republic and it's the other one, I don't mean to offend, I just put them in one bracket here. Really hope people don't get offended, as they did a little bit, of course, in the sign rival player Sunderland build. As it only leaves us with 14 million, you know, to spend in the Prem, which really isn't much. We could have put all that money into one player, but we decided not to. And here's the other player we'll get. He's another fullback, he's another right back, but I think he can make the switch. A very promising player in Sam Curtis. This man's actually been at AC Milan. In this save anyway, unlucky number 13. Hopefully not, but it matches his price tag. Only 22 years of age as he completes our starting 11. And who do you reckon we play first? Luton? Chef United? No, Manchester City. Throw us in the bloody deep end, why don't you? No Irish players, I don't think, in their lineup that we could poach, of course. And to be fair, losing only 2-1, Fraser with a goal and Foden with two, isn't the worst thing in the world. All we need to do is survive. And I've got to say, I've got faith in our Irish lads. And team-wise, some big improvements halfway through. You look and we've got an 83-rated keeper. I love Gillespie. Both fullbacks done well, as it's the FA Cup that's showing. How about the Premier League? We sit just above relegation. Uh, I don't like that we took more defeats than Leeds, but 17 with 17 points. Okay, it's content, as money-wise we have 1 million. Of course, contracts are going to go up, and we've got a lot expiring. Look at that. Players going from less than a grand a week. They're going to take big money moves, so we're definitely not going to be spending. Yeah, it's going to be tough. One thing. Oh, never mind. I was going to check if we're actually in another cup, but it's only promotion cups we're winning. And what have I just said? about not winning competitions. UCD Dublin have won the FA Cup. Big achievement is that you can see right there with each Chef United. So looks like we haven't had the worst run. We had Bournemouth before that. We had Crystal Palace. Spurs we had to beat. Love a trophy. As we finish 13th in the league as well. Completely clear in the end. 13 or 15 points clear. Wow. We were Almost as close to going to Europe. Which all my days. We gonna do. We gonna do because of the, um, the, what do you call it? The FA Cup. I forgot the name of it. As look at the ratings. Curtis has come straight in and been amazing. O'Brien, Hume, Gillespie will have to keep talking about. Dara Burns. He was 59 rated at the start, I think. Was it him? I don't know. That might have been one of the regens, actually. As we've got... Three players over 80 now clear. Trey Hume's been a good addition, but who's been top scorer? It's been Dara. Of course it bloody has. 22 goals, but we can't write off. An 80 rated Kinsella Bishop. This man started at Dublin, and he's more than doubling his net worth here by being brilliant. Connolly, second up, third top scorer, second striker. McGee's been brilliant, and overall we've signed contracts up. 
and we're ready to go in Europe. And our second season in the Prem, we've survived. And money-wise, we've got 54 million given to us. I wonder if it's enough. Enough to get the man you know I'm thinking about, because you're thinking about him. Don't lie, you're definitely thinking about him. In order to get him, Fraser or Kinsella Bishop would probably have to go. Kinsella being here from the start and scoring more goals than Fraser, I think I know who is. So to be sure, to be sure, we're selling him. He's got a value of 40 million, Nathan Fraser. I don't know why the others are on the list. They won't be sold. I think, I think they've just submitted offers. This is a full circle moment, ain't it? Fraser going out and going to Brighton Hove Albion, where we're not going to be going. We're going to be looking at an ex-player of theirs. That's right. Welcome to the club number 10. The man from Ireland, Nathan Ferguson. Big money spent, huge, 96.7. Literally everything we have, look at him. He's going to play up front with Kinsella Bishop. And that will be our team to go into, of course, not only the Premier League, but Europe. As we start the season off with a lost community shield, as I always say, though, I don't care about that. I care about the league. And we start off with Chelsea. Do they have any Irishmen? Um, no, they've got plenty of English in there. Tamari's returned to the bridge. We've got to go and tumble it. Come on, Ferguson. Dara Burns. We can always rely on Dara Burns. And the start to the league has been mixed. It's been very mixed. Two draws. One win, one loss. Not bad, you know, as Europa League. Not conference. We've gone past that. We have Alkmaar, Perai, and Victoria Pleasant, which I've got to say I feel confident about. Hopefully, the team can match those ambitions. And halfway through the season, I've got to just stare at this team for an Irish starting 11. Oh, and bench and reserves, I must say. It's brilliant. As defence have improved a lot this season, Curtis especially at left back. We've got McGee in the midfield doing a madness with his rating, but then Nathan Ferguson... I trust he's carried us. Him and Dara Burst, because he's 86 rated now. He's overtook Gillespie, which is a surprise, as they're both tie scorers, of course. They are Ferguson, Burns, and Kinsella props them up. Brilliant, as in the league, we're seventh. Seventh, with four points off top of the league. Wow, this is open. Mental table, mental table. No preliminary round, Newcastle are in it as we went straight through. Winning our group, Alkamar will finish in second, and that means we're through to the round of 16. Bit of a voice break there. So we have no money. The only thing we have money for is signing all these players up. It's going to be rough, but we're going to get it done, and we're going to get straight, hopefully, into a semi-final. And a bit of a double-edged sword, because in the league, we have finished second to own the Arsenal. 71 points. They won it on 75. There was a big chance if we didn't draw as many games. Oh my days. But the bad thing is, we were absolutely nowhere near the Europa League. Dortmund ended up winning it. And that club, Lyonnais, if you track them back, they beat us 3 2. In the round of 16, immediately out. As in the FA Cup, nowhere near that. So. It won't be Europe again, but it will be one better. It'll be champions, not Europa. I absolutely love it. And I want to see ratings. Look at Evan Ferguson, 88. He can reach 90. I have faith, even if we if we, we maybe don't even reach that. What am I saying? We could win things before. We've got 16 goals with him, 15 with Dada Burns, and then Kinsella Bishop Johnson. The only thing I'm thinking, of course, Dublin being in the Republic of Ireland, is I want a bit more Northern Irish. We've got Thomas McGee, we've got Trey Hume, and then we've got Shea Charles. Actually, we've got a bit of representation, but it does seem a little bit one-sided. But a Champions League Dublin have 74 million to spend to add to a squad that's almost all on international duty. If we can't look to the first team, we'll be looking to that bench. I see we need probably another winger. And probably another centre mid. However, I did say I want a more Northern Irish and the only really good looking player is Daniel Ballard. Or actually, we'll go with a free agent who's a winger and a midfielder, attacking midfielder, should I say. That just kills everything off, doesn't it? No money spent as Omari Kellyman. Welcome. Still one more to go, but that is an incredible acquisition. As the other one, again, the other midfielder on the bench will be Northern Irish. I feel like that's... 
Not equaling it up, but getting a good mix. As here is Isaac Price moving across from St. Etienne. Fair to say Northern Ireland's dominating the centre mid slots as we've got 45 million still to go. So here we go, we've got a player straight through the doors. Now I wanted a good Irish player who's good in real life just like Ferguson. Just so it's not all about regens and stuff like that, we've gone ahead and signed. Here he is, Nathan Collins. The second best Irishman. The only problem with him, of course, is he takes Kane's place and then Cashin's place in the team to go straight in. Actually, no, Cashin's left-footed. He'd be better off, so Collins just goes on the bench. As we start this season off with Newcastle. Why I man? And I expect us. I don't know what I expect this season. Good team. Enzo and Zahn Emery, along with Longstaff. That is a good midfield. But yeah, like I'm saying, don't know what to expect. I expect more points than 72, but not to be as high up as we lose the first game and them two midfielders I mentioned do score, but it's Dara Burr with two for us. He'll get more. I trust him. The real question is though, after failing, of course, in Europe, can we overcome Barcelona, Fenerbahce and Benfica? And look at this team. Halfway through, you can see one big negative. No, not the player, but Evan Ferguson's injured. But, oh, it's only seven days. That's all right. And that's good because he needs to be back for this title race because we are sitting three points behind leaders Chelsea. Dublin doing okay. FA Cup. It will have just been coming up. Yeah, Wimbledon. We're not through in the Carabao, but in the Champions League. Not the Super Cup. The Champions League we are through. And we've got Sport in Lisbon after topping a group unbeaten with those teams. Wow. Wow, okay. Ireland's just got to keep on building on. And straight into the first game, they're playing standard. I haven't mentioned it all, have I? We've been playing wing play all the time. Probably explains why Johnston and Burns have done so well in this save. Not Kinsella, though. Kinsella Bishop is an anomaly. As Ferguson's back and Ferguson is scoring. Scoring against the old um, the old Victor Giocarez there. Brilliant player for Coventry in his day in the championship as a draw. Courtesy of Kinsella Bishop and Curtis sees us through. This could be good. This could be very good because it's Barcelona and we know we can beat them. The group stage itself showed that as they've got they've got Conor Gallagher alongside Pedri. Are you being serious? Are you being serious? I think that's a shocking move. I think it's seriously a shocking move, but one of them does get a goal. And it's not Conor Gallagher. And look how good Dara Burrs is this season. It says 20 goals in 31 matches. Can he do it at the Camp Nou, though? I think they've picked the same team. And oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. He scores in a 4-2 demolition job. McGee got injured, but we just signed literal new midfielders. Kinsella, Bishop, Curtis, Amad Diallo for them. Semi-final for Ireland. And this is going to be so fun. We've got BDB. Ooh, Dublin v Dortmund. Got a bit of a ring to it, you know. First leg, 2-2 two -two draw. Curtis and Michael Johnston. That makes the second leg a very, very exciting one from a player that's been here all the time. Can he shine again? Yes, he can! He scores the literal winning goal. He's speaking things into existence. Dublin have beaten Dortmund. 4-3. The worst team, the poorest team in FC 24. They're going to be in the final of the Champions League. You can see it's took a toll on us league form. We haven't won a game around those. I truly believe when you're in a Champions League final against Newcastle. Against the team in our league. They beat PSG. I believe you fall off, but we haven't fallen off. We haven't fallen off at all. Ireland have won the Premier League. It's great for the countries, of course. I need to say, they are two separate countries. I don't want to fall into any type of controversy here as this team. I think I think if Ireland came together and made this, I think both nations would support it. We've got 91 Burns, 91 Ferguson. Burns has been incredible. And Shea Charles is chasing up. Our midfield's good. Unfortunately, without Thomas McGee, who's been here a long time. That is a shame. But Kinsella Bishop's fit. How many goals did he get? He got 24. Burns with 27. Ferguson with 23. Shows that goal scoring's our favourite thing to do. And we've got to show the Jordis. And here we go. Of course, it's at the Benfica Stadium. 
we should have experienced from playing them in the group stage. And I'm liking this kit. I've got to say, it's like sky blue with navy trimmings, kind of. It's like Chelsea and City put into one. Hopefully the the first one more. Rather have more of the citizens shine through in our players. That is a great tackle for the man who's just come in. And Kinsella Bishop. From playing in the Irish League to the Champions League, you've got to step it up, mate. Here comes the Irishman. I mean, we need to do well here. That is good football. I say Irishman, they're all Irish. Tommy Asu stepping to the side as well, and here's Angelo. He's going to try and put it in the middle. Gordon was arriving. Shot from Longstar. Newcastle starting the better, but what a ball from Cashin to find Dara Burns. Both played not together in the lower leagues but in the lower leagues similarly and we needed to be better with that ball because now gordon's through again and cashy needs to defend him better come on stand him up stand him up catch that gillespie a man i've praised all safe i can't believe what he's done there what has he done there i mean no one's followed up on the man but the keeper should Catch that clean. Right, we're 1-0 down to Newcastle now. We need to try and switch this on. We should be a lot better with the players that we have as Dara Burns. We're relying on our attackers to attack the ball and get it back off their defenders. Come on. We need to be better at the back, better going forward as this is a good move. Slipped into Evan Ferguson. He scored on the angle. Leveled up. Angle proceedings here. Every shot coming on the angle as that is a goal instantly back and a quality one and just before half time newcastle coming at us again and always oh, skied it and that could have been a foul really got away with one i think saved by the bell as yes it is half time and we need to get going here just play football play normal ball into johnston on to price for a player stepping in at the last minute he's been good here's johnston Michael Johnston with a ball towards Evan Ferguson. And Johnston wins it back here on a smart turn. There's a run down the line from our left back who wins it back in Sam Curtis. We need to keep on staying away and just chip that ball over. Brilliant stuff. Look for Ferguson again. It was good last time. Come on. Oh, stole off him. Use your brain as they've got a free kick as well here. Sending a lot of players forward. Anthony Gordon with the back heel. Hasn't worked out for them. Kinsella Bishop not involved in this game and not playing particularly well. They've got it out to the right-hand side, though, and Trey Hume into Burns here. Dara Burns into Ferguson. This should be it. Evan Ferguson just going through on goal, and it's a save. And I genuinely don't know how this goal's coming, but it is. I hope anyway. Ball short. This is good play. This is very good play. Michael Johnston hits a chest. And that should have been a goal. Come on, we need to play better. Last couple of minutes here. Avoid extra time. Dara Burns into Price. Round the corner. It's Kinsella Bishop. And it is just wide. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Because that's taken us to extra time. And that game should have been won right there. And Charles with a pass out to Price here. We need to start extra time. As we did finish the game. We were on top. Creating chances, as this could be one straight away. Sam Curtis, our fullback, alongside Ferguson to slam it home. And that just could have done with coming like nine minutes earlier. But a great finish nevertheless. Dublin fans going mental here in Portugal. What a fine goal. Running down the line with a ball whipped in, just chipped in. Not even whipped and a power shot in the bottom corner. And now just over a half. Over a half to see it off with O'Brien. Coming forward, no red cards, please. Got quite a few players on a yellow card. Can't lie, I don't want them sending off. So, Trey Hume, let's just get started in this second half. No funny business. I know you've played for Sunderland and these are your ex-rivals, but we need to be sure with what we do. Ball roll FC. As Ferguson, no, you're testing the look a little bit there, mate. Ball whipped in and whipped in to absolutely nobody as Makoko. That was almost a good tackle if it would have pushed the ball forward. Not long to go now. Just see it out. Substitutions to be made as Charles had to be very careful with that tackle. Makoku, Jake O'Brien. What a challenge as that is the whistle as well. We've done it from the bottom tier of England with the worst team in the country. Scrap that. The Irish country as well. Dublin. 
the university team, I think it is, with Evan Ferguson and only Irish players have won the Champions League. Comes also after winning the Premier League. We can't forget about that as it's going to be Jake O'Brien and screw it. I'm giving him man of the match for the final. Ferguson scored two, but that man right there was absolutely solid as a rock. As if you did enjoy this one, I've done it with Wales, Belgium and Scotland. Check the channel to find those ones.